Good evening, everyone. Very welcome to St. Malachy's Hall here in Kilku, and delighted to have with us here this evening the chairman of Owen Roa Kilku, Mr. Terry O'Hanlon. Well, Terry, the All Ireland final coming up now on the 27th of April. There must be a great buzz about the parish here in Kilku. Yeah, there's a great buzz. Um, it's um, absolutely brilliant that we're there, and now we'd like to try to go on and win it. So, would. Um, there's a lot of chat about the parish. Uh, about the county final, how good they were, and then on to the Ulster final, and oh, it's just brilliant. Like score, score is, was never a big thing with myself, but these people now have really lifted it to the to the heights in Kilcoose. They have, and obviously Terry, you know, it's not every day you get the Ireland final, and uh, I think Down have only ever won this uh, novelty act once, way back in 1977. And uh, Kilku will be going out. A lot, of, a lot of people didn't give them much chance going into the Ulster final because they were up against two very good teams from Tyrone and Armagh. But they ended up getting three firsts. That was a great feat, Terry. Yeah, especially in the, in the Ulster final, um, beating Kelly Clocker, who Kelly Clocker were very, who were very, very good. Um, the standard was really, really high um, right throughout. In the county final, um, I seen them. I thought they were excellent. But in the Ulster final, I just thought they were super, really, really brilliant. On the, the you know, the whole uh, hall in Cecilia's in stitches laughing, and the acting on all parts and every one of them was excellent. So it was very, very good, very well thought out, very well rehearsed, brilliant. And of course, uh, Terry, you know, this is bound to encourage the youth to get involved in score here in the parish. Yeah, there's a lot of people talking now about the score, and funny this week there's people been talking about, you know, getting the dancing up and running again, and uh, oh, it's been brilliant, you know, on, on the people involved, especially, you know, we can talk about the McLaughlin family. They've kept score alive in this, in this club for years and years and years in this parish they have, and um, <laughs> Theresa who has represented down as well on in uh, in the score. She's won medals as well, so she has. Well, Terry, uh, obviously now there's, there's a lot of people looking forward to going down, uh, down to uh, Derry for the final. Yeah. Uh, and obviously there'll be a lot of people looking for tickets, no doubt. Yeah, well, I think at, at the minute the, um, our cultural um, representative, I think there's about 40 people travelling at the minute. We're at the, you know, the down final on the Ulster final. It wasn't that well represented, you know, but now the whole party is right in behind it. And again, I can't stress so much the effort they've put in you know, Joseph and, and, and Paddy McCrickard and uh, we Sean O'Hare and the McLaughlin family. It's, it's been, look, they're down here every other night on their own. Nobody knows the effort that they're putting in. Like It's a real, real team effort, Terry. Real team effort, yeah. They've been brilliant. They never asked for anything. They never asked for anything. Never have. Always represented the club. And uh, I can't thank them enough. And we're in an Ireland final. And it's given us a great lift. So it has given the whole club and, and Parish after getting beaten the Ulster football final. Things were, you know, on on a down, but these people and have lifted the whole club and the whole parish again. So they have put us back on the map. So they have. And obviously, G, uh, the GA just isn't all about kicking a ball, Terry. No. We're, we're no, definitely not. I've learned that since I came to the chair. I was a great football man, but once you get to be the chairman of, especially of a great club like this, you have to represent so many different things. You have the camogie, the girls, the ladies' football, and the score. Now the score is really taken off, and some of the people that are involved don't get the credit they deserve. They're really, really put a massive effort into this here, and I hope it pays off. I really hope it pays off for them, so it does. And I have seen the act. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Thanks very much. That was Terry Hanlon there, the chairman of Owen Roa here in Kilku. We're going to be talking to a few other people here later on this evening. Thank you. I'm delighted to have with us here this evening in St Malachy's Hall two people very much involved in score and down, and also in Ulster, Paul McGee, the Down Cultural Officer, the Vice Chairman of the Down County Board, William Smith. Well, Paula, this is a big occasion for Down, not only for Kilku, but for Down and for Ulster with Kilku reaching the Ireland final in, in score. It certainly is, Patsy. Um, score and Down has always been um, very, very active and, and a lot of effort from, from all our clubs. And it's, it's a great um, credit to Kilku to have reached an All Ireland final. For the, I know they've been trying for, for many a year. They've always been there and score through thick and thin, so it's a great reward for them to, to get to an All Ireland final. Obviously, William, you were at the up in Derry. That was a well staged uh, operation up there, the Ulster score final, and the Derry uh, board have to be congratulated. But we were just talking beforehand down at 4X, and you were confident enough that one of them was going to come through, and for Kilku, they, they've hit the, the big time, so to speak. 
Yeah, Kilcoo have hit the big time this year, there's no doubt about that. I've been trying hard for years and it's a credit to them. And it's not often that four of the one family come out of an Ulster final with four medals. And I think that's a credit to James and his wife and his two daughters. And that's not uh, saying anything about the other people. Joe and the rest of the, the people have been excellent as well. And uh, as you said earlier there, Derry have put on a, a very good show uh, for the Ulster final in Northern Ireland. And hopefully, hopefully that uh, Kilcoo will come back with uh, all Ireland medals uh, in score century. Well, Paula, Kilcoo have really taken this series because their dinner dance is on the actual night of the all Ireland final and they've put it back a week. That shows you they're really getting behind this novelty act here, so to speak. Absolutely, and that, you know, for the, the competitors on stage that night, that's a, a real belief that the club have and, and always would have had that it just as a probably brings it home even more to them that a club's annual awards, especially with them being county champions and I know they have a big draw plan. So for them to rearrange them arrangements to, uh, in preference to, to score is, is massive and I would credit Kilcoo Committee for doing that for their score competitors. And obviously both of you, I'm sure you're looking forward to the all Ireland final, William. And has uh, Derry been the city of culture this year? That, that's even a, a, a greater occasion. It, it certainly is, uh, Patsy, a, a great occasion for, uh, culture for this particular year. And let's hope that the jewels in the crown when Kilcoo won this novelty act and bring the medals back to County Downer. It's a priest, Father McVeigh, uh, and Laura Moran always said to us uh, back in '97, go bring home the, ba the bacon. He says, so I hope Kilcoo go to Derry and bring home the bacon. Well, Paula, your own club, uh, Jane and, and Claire Rooney, win all Iron titles in the past. You know what it's like to win all Iron. Have you any tips here for these good folk around Owen Row and Kilcoo? Yes, certainly. Um, Drahad Mio have been very successful. They had a spell there back in, from about 1999 till, till 2007. And, you know, they actually, believe it or not, were in as many All Ireland finals. They were twice the amount of finals that they won. So, all, my advice to them was, you know, All Ireland finals don't come every day. You go to Derry, you enjoy the preparations, you enjoy the big occasion, and I'm confident that Kilcoo have on stage what it takes to win in All Ireland. There you have it, folks. Paula McGee and William Smith, quietly confident that Kilcoo's going to do the business, and uh, we'll be there, obviously, uh, on the day to give them a bit of support. Thank you. Here we have the remainder of the cast in, in Kilcoo's uh, novel deck. First of all, Paddy McCracker. Well, Paddy, you've been involved in score now for a number of years. You must be delighted to eventually get to an All Ireland final of your club. Absolutely. Um, I've probably been involved in SCORE for near enough 30 years as a coordinator and participant. But um, say we, we, got, uh, we won the county title last year and uh, we got to the Norse semi-final. And <coughs> to win a county, uh, two county titles in a row is absolutely phenomenal. Um, to um, then get on to an Ulster final, and it was... Probably um, in the ultra semi-final, we felt that we didn't probably do as well as we could, but I think it's due to the, the strength of the, the script we had that it got us through. And then, I say, on, on the, uh, the Ulster final, we'd all decided, we were rehearsing before we went on, we all decided, right, we're going out and we're going to enjoy this, and we'll try our best, and hopefully uh, we'll not mess up, and uh, we'll get through it. And to be honest, um, I think as we were on the stage, we weren't near as nervous as we were waiting for the result. It was unbelievable. I thought, will you call out the result <laughs> and put us out of our misery? But uh, no, it's an absolutely unbelievable uh, feeling. Um, and to be going to an All Ireland final, to actually to win an Ulster, an Ulster title in your first attempt is phenomenal. Well, Joseph, you're the, the pilot of this so-called plane, and, yes. and you play the part very well. It has to be said, you, you took part as a, a, a singer and score, and you, you're, you have a great singing voice as well, as well here. And obviously, Joe, to get to an All Ireland final, you know, I'm sure you're, you're still. Is this a dream here? Well, singing is my first passion. Don't get me wrong, it is, but we sort of called in a short notice with a different wee play that the girls had and Paddy and the boys here, and. Um, I gave them a pull out, but then we got to the All Ireland. I got to the county final. We decided what the girls had written this, and we wanted to do it. And I, I wasn't very optimistic the first night I home. What I thought, what are we doing? And then once we got together and rehearsed it for the first time, I said, "This is good. You know, this is funny." And I just want to say, like the McLaughlin family and Paddy himself here, have scored a long, long time. And for more than anybody, I'm so happy for them. They have worked so hard. It must be 20 years or more out of. 
and I'm so proud to be with Paddy and the Lapins and an All-Iron Final because they deserve it more than anybody and thanks very much to our club and Terry and Roger and all of them has been fantastic. I'm led to believe Joseph you do a little wee team huddle like a football team would do before they went on to the field to play at that crack. Well the way I look at it is you played I played it as a football match you know at the end of the day well, some cast members are very, very nervous, and as much as we can do at the start is to, or before we go on the stage, get them to calm down and basically enjoy it. At the end of the day, if you don't enjoy it, I don't remember what happened, it's no good. And I have to say, it's been a roller coaster so far, and the Ulster final, I didn't think we were going to win it. Kelly Clapper were fantastic, but I definitely come on stage you knowing every one of us enjoyed it. Every one of us, and we couldn't have done any better, I think. You knew yourself, Patsy, you there at the semi final and the way we anticipated in the final I thought was fantastic and maybe looking back on it maybe deserve winners and I'm so proud to be in all Ireland final. For Lady Joseph I'm here one of the younger members of the team well Sean this is your second year with uh, the Novelty Act and I'm sure you're delighted to reach the final. Uh, definitely you know uh, you'd be involved in junior score got to a few all Irelands there but uh, you know this is completely different senior score the competition is higher um, and we're a great bunch of people here like so you know you can be better. And you're looking forward to the 27th of April and obviously uh, the Kaku dinner dance been put back a year Patrick that's, that speaks something about this club that they're going to really get behind you. No it absolutely it speaks volumes of the club and, and the, the strong committee led by Terry and uh, you know Terry he phoned me and he said he'd do all he could uh, to try and get a put back and uh, I thought you know it's it'd be great but I just with hotels and that, I just didn't think it would be possible. So to get a put back um, a week, and um, also the the club draw is um, it's put back as well. So it's absolutely phenomenal, and you know it's been well broadcasted and, and uh, publicised throughout the parish. So uh, I think everybody is behind us, and would love to see it doing it. You know. Well, if you happen to, to win the All Ireland, I'm sure Paul here, Paul Rooney, our county PRO, was a Sunday sports show in Destination Yerry. He a bit gladly takes us into the studio to show off your All Ireland medals. And all the best in the final, folks. Thanks very much. Thank you.